Hello and welcome. Let us understand how one can use the Ishikawa diagram or the fishbone diagram or the cause and effect diagram to identify the root cause behind the observed non-conformity or the problem that you want to solve. And this tool can be used across any industry. I mean for manufacturing as well as service based industry. So today I am going to you know, walk you through the use of this uh, tool in the context of pharmaceutical industry. So let me begin with the presentation and here it is on the screen. So this fish, uh, fishbone diagram or the Ishikawa diagram is invented by Dr. Koru Ishikawa in the 1943s while he was consulting to the Kawasaki. So this is how this tool got invented. And if you look at the uh, this kind of tools, you know, the 5Y uh, or many others, you will find the invention coming from the Japan. So fishbone represents the meaningful relationship between an effect, that is the problem that you want to solve, and its causes or the root causes. So what is the root cause for your problem? And we will talk about all this in a detail in the coming slides. This diagram also named as a fishbone as it looks like the bone of the fish. And you must have noticed that in the first slide. It also known as cause and effect diagram. It's a visual tool to brainstorm <clears throat> and organize possible causes, that is X, for a specific problem or the response, that is Y. It summarizes all potential causes. So in case of 5Y, probably you may not be able to summarize all the causes. But in case of fishbone diagram, you are going to summarize all the possible causes and that is going to be the part of our today's presentation how we are going to do that we will also have the practical you know uh, a real life example to understand the fishbone diagram you need to start with y and then drill down so now in x axis now this is a diagram right uh, uh, in x axis there is a cause and and across the y axis we have effect so what is the effect? Effect is actually the problem, the symptoms that you are looking. But the symptoms are because of what? Because of the cause or the root cause. So we are going to look for the X. And what we know now, we understand the effect. For example, there is a failure of motor. Now this is the effect. But what is the cause behind failure of a motor? For, for example, if there is a distortion in the pick shape in case of HPLC analysis, now the distortion of the pick shape is the effect. But what is the cause behind the pick shape distortion? That is X. And we are actually going to determine X with the help of fishbone diagram. So root causes can be grouped into six categories. And what are those six categories? These are the six M's, which is man, machine, method, material, measurement and mother earth. So based on to your 6M analysis and the given effect, you can draw a fishbone diagram. So I'm going to you know, discuss in detail about all these parameters in the coming presentation. So what is the method? What are the causes related to procedures, handoffs, inputs, outputs issues? So you need to identify you know, what are the possible causes as per as method is concerned. You need to identify what is the possible root causes as per as man, measurement, material, machine and mother earth are concerned. So these six factors can be taken into consideration to identify the root causes individually. So for example, in case of method, the causes related to procedures, handoffs, input, output issues. Do we have a process in the place first? Do we follow the right process? Does the process validate it, etc.? In case of man, root causes related to people and organizations. Are people trained? Is there a shortage of talent? Are people overworked, etc.? In case of measurement, does method use suitable? 
and does it validate it? How much is method variability? Is data readily available, etc. In case of material causes related to material used to execute a process, are specs we use out of date? Is right material used? Is the information we receive is correct or not? Machine causes related to the tools used to execute the process. Does tools suitably qualified? Does tools work properly? Now, what is the recent maintenance history of the machine? In case of Mother Earth or the environment, we can ask about the related to work environment like the market conditions, regulatory issues, or the actual uh, the shop floor uh, environmental conditions like temperature, humidity, or the pressure. Is our facility designed to support associates work? Do regulatory issues impact the competitiveness of our business, etc.? So you need to start with why method is wrong, why man can be a problem, why measurement is an issue. So by asking this why, why, why for multiple times, you will understand the number of causes related to each and every segment. So let us understand how one can construct the fishbone diagram and here is the beginning. So you will find the, the fishbone diagram onto the uh, top right side corner of the presentation. And first you need to begin with the effect. So the head of the fishbone is a effect or a problem. I hope you must be able to see onto the screen, onto the right side of the uh, top of the screen. Now moment you identify that, you know, you need to understand the, the next important aspects of categorizing the causes now. So the ribs denote categories or classification of the causes. So the method, machine, man, measurement, material and environment. So these are the six ribs of the fish and what they indicates? They indicates the classification of the causes. The ribs branch out into causes and sub causes. So each rib, each category will further have its own causes or sub causes. So those ribs will have the branch, branch out and those branch outs are called as the causes and sub causes. Use the six major bones provided to drill for the causes. So you can use less or more, but six is very uh, suitable as per as our environment is concerned, our working system is concerned. It is okay if some of the causes appear under more than one bone. So if you find that there are one cause which is appearing across three different bones, it also indicates that it is a prominent significant cause. So it's always okay to have the such causes repeatedly getting inside the multiple categories. Now brainstorm with a group of uh, subject matter expertise. It is very important that you know without having appropriate knowledge of the, the problem that you want to solve, you will not be able to construct the meaningful fishbone diagram. Do not expect a perfect fishbone in just one sitting. Hmm? So it requires a lot of efforts to come to a perfect uh, fishbone. So let us understand that first level of fishbone can be a crude fishbone diagram. And upon further, as you're moving, progressing onto the investigation, you will be able to have the better fishbone diagram in the place. Now, don't swallow the whole fish at once. Now, this means that don't try to you know, solve the problem at once. So as the fishbone diagrams gives you a opportunity to uh, categorize the problems into the six sections. So target the six sections separately rather than targeting all the sections at a time. Fishbone diagrams are not easy to apply to complex problems where causes and effects can be too difficult to spot across all process categories. So keep this point in mind, it is not an easy uh, process. So let us understand the construction of fishbone with the help of a simple example. And I have taken an example of column leakage during the HPLC analysis. So again, the six categories, man, method, material, measurement, mother earth, and the machine. So across the man category, what are the uh, causes I would like to identify? Inadequate manpower can be one cause, which is noted by M1. Motivational issues that the team is not motivated can be the another cause. 
the third cause can be inadequate training to the uh, manpower and the fourth can be a stress level so across the one category which of the man i have identified four different causes now these four causes can have their sub causes so for example in case of inadequate manpower which is one of my cause under category men right man the sub cause is what no recruitment no recruitment since last two years and the workload is increasing but there is no substantial manpower hired so that is the inadequate manpower situation you are living right now with the second is how the motivational issues this is the cause what is the sub cause for this the lack of floor support no incentives to the, uh, the employees so you can see that this x1 x2 indicates what they are the causes they are the cause uh, they are the causes on to the effect observed similarly if you can look at the second category method you will find causes as work allocation procedures training then sub causes as no prior work allocation frequent changes to method then lack of column washing sop no training on column maintenance lack of hplc training in the case of material now there are two important causes identified space and parts and the mobile face filtration so sub causes are non availability of frit and tubing in case of spares and parts in case of mobile face filtration the sub cause is identified as the filtration assembly under breakdown similarly in case of measurement the process is the cause and the sub cause of the process is no measurement for quality of tubing or frit or no detection for column leak mother earth there was no cause identified under the mother earth category and in case of machine again the frit and tubing and hplc systems are two major causes identified now under the frit and tubing the sub causes are overuse frit and overuse tubings under the hplc system the hplc system is under frequent breakdown is the identified sub cause so now you identified the different causes and then you need to further uh, segregate all these causes as a in control causes and out of control causes so which causes you can control within your lab and which causes are not under your control and what is their impacts is a high impacting cause is a medium cause or the low cause so in the situation of given time you must also prioritize which cause you need to target first which is in your control and having the high impact then you can move ahead with the out of control but still it is having the high impact then the second phase can be you know uh, mitigating the issues with respect to medium and then followed by the low so this is the way you know you can also implement the fishbone diagram to identify the root cause behind the problem that you are uh, going through so thank you very much for watching this video and i will meet you soon with such kind of very useful and informative videos till then take care and bye bye see you soon